In this video, we are going to make a silicon mold of this fishing rod. Start by rolling out a bed of modelling clay onto a board. Next, take some fluted signboard or a firm core board and mark out the extents of the required mold. Bend the board at these markings to form a complete mold box. Before pressing the mould box down into the clay, pierce two holes to allow the lure to be suspended by the rod, protruding out of the front and back. Insert the lure and press the mould box down into the clay bed. Use some tape to keep the box closed and use some clay to seal the bottom and any other hole in the box. We will now measure in centimetres the volume of the mould box by taking the length, breadth and height. Multiply these three measurements together and this will give you the volume in millilitres. Add 10% and this will give you the approximate weight of rubber we need to mix and pull. Weigh the material out onto a pair of kitchen scales. Zero the scales and add the required amount of catalyst and mix well. Pour the mixed rubber into the mould box in a fine stream from a high point. This will help to pop any bubbles in the mixture on the way down. Try to pour the rubber to the side of the object, not right on top of it. This can also assist in keeping air bubbles off the model. Pour right up to the top of the lure but leave a small part exposed. This will give us a pouring hole when the original lure is removed. Leave the silicon to set thoroughly, then cut the mould box away from the new mould. With a sharp knife, carefully score a slit from the pouring hole to one of the support rods. You will now be able to remove the original fishing rule. The mould is now complete and ready for casting with soft rubber or hard resin. We are going to demonstrate the casting of a hard resin rule in our new mould. First take a rod of brass and cut to size. To stop the rod from sliding out of the completed rule, we are going to create a kink in the rod which will be embedded in the resin locking it in. Now pour out the required amounts of part A and B of the resin, and stir well. Pour the mixed resin into the pouring hole in the mould. Once the resin has set, you can remove the new lure from the mould and trim the excess resin with a file or sandpaper. We will now bend the rod into rings to secure the hooks to it.
You can now paint or decorate your completed lure however you desire. All mold making and casting materials are available on our website aldex.com.au or come into our store in Rockdale for advice or to see the products, including this lure.